Have you ever wondered how the US managed to make such rapid advancements in space technology during the Cold War? Let's delve into the enigmatic Operation Paperclip, a covert program that tugged at the strings of morality and scientific ambition. Following the end of the Second World War, the United States and its allies were in a mad dash to secure the scientific prowess of Germany. Operation Paperclip was the US's answer. This secret program recruited German scientists, many of whom were former Nazis, to work on American soil. Among these recruits was Werner von Braun, a former SS officer. Despite his dark past, von Braun played a pivotal role in developing the Saturn V rocket for NASA, a key instrument in the space race. The ethical implications of this operation are heavy and complex. So Operation Paperclip, a necessary evil for scientific advancement or a questionable operation that gave a new life to former Nazis? What if all religious events and phenomena were just high-tech holograms designed to control the masses? Welcome to the shadowy world of Project Bluebeam. This is a theory that suggests NASA of all organizations is plotting to establish a new age religion with the Antichrist leading the march. The method of choice, a technologically simulated second coming, using high-tech holography to stage spiritual visions and religious occurrences from the skies. It's a concept that feels like it's been ripped straight from a science fiction novel. But could there be any truth in it? Some conspiracy theorists posit that there have already been tests of this technology, reports of strange lights and inexplicable visions in the sky have been linked to potential test runs of Project Blue Beam. Of course, these are just theories, and there is no concrete evidence to support them. Still, they serve as a chilling reminder of the potential power of technology. Project Blue Beam, a chilling vision of technological manipulation, or just another sci-fi fantasy? Can we truly trust the media, or are they just puppets in the hands of higher powers? This brings us to Operation Mockingbird, an alleged CIA program designed to manipulate the media for propaganda purposes. Imagine a time, the mid-20th century, a period marked by the Cold War. The CIA seeing a need to control the, the narrative supposedly infiltrates major media outlets, influencing content to push their agenda. An example, the Bay of Pigs invasion, 1961. Critics argue that media coverage was suspiciously one-sided, supporting the US government's stance and vilifying Castro's regime. Another instance, the Vietnam War. The media's portrayal of the conflict was often skewed, with critics suggesting CIA involvement However, these examples are circumstantial. Concrete evidence of Operation Mockingbird's existence remains elusive. Was it a real, covert operation, or just a product of Cold War paranoia? Operation Mockingbird, a sobering reminder of the potential power of propaganda, or a baseless conspiracy theory. You decide.